Okay, let's continue section 15.4. So after a long discussion on recurrence formula, we'll uh, go into taking take a look at uh, orthogonality. We actually skip over the discussion of parity, which we talked about before, and special values, basically at x equals equals to plus or minus one, which are quite simple, and x equals to zero which will need a little bit of work and those um, the discussion on some exercises um, problem so I won't go into that so we'll uh, instead talk about the orthogonality so basically it's the same as the similar discussion to as the agenda polynomial so basically we try to integrate PLM, or in this case a PPM, and then PQM, x dx from minus 1 to 1, and this is for a given m, this m uh, in both functions are the same, so uh, we want to show that whether this is uh, orthogonal, and of course, uh, to show that it actually is quite straightforward. This is zero if p is not equal to q, and this, the derivation for this one to to show that actually is uh, quite straightforward, just like the Legendre polynomial. So now you use uh, the associate legenda equation rather than the legenda equation to prove that. So the proof is basically exactly the same, so I won't go into that. And so basically what is left is the discussion when p equals to q, what is the uh, normalization constant, okay? And the corresponding uh, situation for the Legendre polynomial basically is m equals to zero. The result is that uh, if you have PL, uh, let's use the same notation P, PQ, X, T, X. So basically it's uh, uh, on the 2 over 2P, plus 1 delta pq, the uh, quantica delta. Okay, so this is, we, we de derived that uh, for the Legendre polynomial. So now we want to consider when p and q is at the same, what is that? So your textbook actually spent uh, uh, quite a uh, long derivation to get get to the value. So I'll actually use an, another way to uh, get to the result. So basically we are considering this situation minus 1 p p m x no p p m x dx we want to consider this one. This is the square of this function. Okay, and to do that, actually, I will use the um, um, relationship of the when uh, between PLM and PL minus M. That uh, that relation is in fifteen point eighty one. Which say that the PL minus M X S minus one M L minus M factorial L plus M factorial P L Okay, so uh, so this related PLM to PL minus M. So I can use this 
relationship to change one from PLM to PL minus M. Okay, so that equals to uh, so using this, you know, I'll have minus one M. Uh, now I'll, instead of L, I have P, so P plus M factorial, P minus M factorial. Okay, and then integrate P, P, M. And P P minus M. Okay, so change to that, and then I use the uh, the relationship between P L M and the what Rager's formula for the the gender polynomial. Basically, this is uh, fifteen point eighty. So PLM is given by minus 1M divided by 2L, L factorial. Actually, I, I'm not using this one. Actually, I will use uh, 79 instead because that would be a, a little easier. Which is minus 1 m 1 minus x squared to the power m over 2 dm dxm. Uh, PL, actually, I, PL, yeah. So this this is actually uh, uh, the first equation, but then 15.80 is uh, further uh, applying this. So dx. Now you have uh, L plus M. Because that's what Rager's formula L plus M. And this is. Uh, x squared minus 1 to the L. Okay. Well, actually, use that one. Okay. And then pi to this two. So. This means we have, uh, oops, I've got this normalization constant, 2L, L factorial. Okay, this is normalization constant for PL. Okay, uh, now we we'll do that, so, so copy everything, minus 1M, P plus M factorial. P minus n factorial. Uh, so you have two of them. One is m, the other is minus m. So for the m one minus one m, and then uh, all this constant to l l factorial. They are the same. So you square up that. The other is m changed to minus m, so this minus m, so that becomes zero. And then integrate minus one to one. So one factor is m over two, the other factor is minus m over two. They multiply together, so cancel this one over one minus x squared term. So what is left is uh, d dx. One is L plus M power x squared minus one L. 
or the other one is dx L minus m power x. Okay. Now, for the rest of this integration, we basically use uh, the integration by parts. Okay, if we do m terms integration by parts, so then uh, we can move m of this derivative to the other side, and the, those uh, boundary terms will be zero because of this x squared minus one factor. You will see that there will be enough x squared minus one factor to cancel all the boundary terms when you do the integration by parts. So each one you flip a sign, so it's, you have a minus one to the m factor. So and the minus one m to the fact uh, minus one to the m factor cancel with this one. So you have a p plus m. This one is C S one P minus M factorial to the power L L factorial square. So finally you have D D X to power L X square minus one L square D X. Okay.